2009, we made history with the election of President Barack Obama. He called us to service, as there remains much work to do to end unemployment, poverty, and crime in our communities. There's so many books on how we can accomplish this, but this year, everyone's raving about this summer's hottest new book, The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America by Chicago's own Emmanuel Barbie. A graduate of Northeastern Illinois University, Barbie addresses key ways we back our families and communities. But unlike so many other books on this topic, Barbie captivates his reader, presenting solutions through a riveting life story. It's entertaining, it's different, it's exciting. The perfect book club selection. Don't be left out. Get your copy of The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America. Order today at Amazon.com. Welcome to Help Stop the Genocide in American Ghettos podcast. I'm your host, Emmanuel Barbie. I, I am extending my time frame for this event in order to include my international friends who live in Africa, Brazil, Canada, the Caribbean, and Europe. This podcast is a component of the Grassroots Community Activist Movement, which is a 21st century community-building approach to solving black issues in America and throughout the African diaspora. Before I go into my presentation this evening and open up the discussion with my listeners, I feel a need to say a prayer. First, on behalf of the Grassroots Community Activist (coughs) Movement, We would like to send our condolence to the Nipsey Hussle family and all murder victims in America. Touch the hearts and minds of everyone that's on my friends list and everyone that's in my social groups to be open to new ideas about an old approach in Jesus name. I have completed my filmmaking training from Chicago filmmakers. I learned the ins and outs of becoming a film director and a producer. I am holding this webinar in order to recruit talented actors, cinematographers, directors, storytellers who could deliver some of the best content that the film industry has yet to discover. I want to give everyone that's on my friends list an opportunity to to make history. Those of you who join, my my film project will go down in history with me and with Sister Renee. I call upon YouTubers, collaborators such as Phil Scott from The Advice Show, and Attorney um, Ant- Antonio Moore from Tone Talks, Dinas Emir from Search of Hulu, Tyreek Nasheed from the from um, the Tyreek Radio, and Dr. Mumbi from the Dr. Mumbi Show to consider joining my film project so that we can present a quality film to empower our people in America and throughout the African diaspora. I want to encourage those of you who are on my friends list that have filmmaking experience and those of you who have acting experience to be a part of my film project. The goal is to make this film compete or compatible with the Black Panther film, which made $1 billion worldwide. And that was, you know, good, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, that only benefited um, the Disney company. That didn't help um, rebuild the African continent. My film is about rebuilding our urban communities in America, starting in Chicago and eventually expand to the African continent. 
I'm still looking for legitimate angel investors and sponsors who will invest $400,000 for my film project. The capital from my investors will go towards me hiring professional film crew such as sound technicians, computer graphic designers, musicians, poets, assistant directors, director of photography, camera assistants, hair and makeup artists, and production assistants, and of course quality actors. The proceeds from, from my film will go towards my Christian business, the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago. Now I have done my best to get my message out to the public through my YouTube videos, my social groups, my blog postings, this online talk show, and now um, my revised book, as well as my upcoming urban Christian film, Hood Liberator, Made in Chicago. The war against Willie Lynch begins. This is my last attempt to try to do something positive for my racial group in America. It's not my burden alone, but rather a shared burden. For I am just one black man with a plan and, and a vision. It takes a team to make a dream work. I created this show in order to interact with everyone that's on my friends list and everyone that's in my social groups. My objective is to recruit others to join my cause and to inform my listeners about current events that's taking place in the, in the, in the, the black community. I want to give everyone an opportunity to promote their business, ministries, and, and share their talents and skills with my listeners from the podcast community. After the show, I usually offer my guest speakers an incentive by sharing with them how to create their own podcast or create their own YouTube channel and earn revenue from it. This platform is for people who are concerned about solving black issues once and for all in America and throughout the African diaspora. I use my show as a platform to connect with progressive African Americans, Afro-Brazilians, Afro-Canadians, Afro-Caribbeans, Afro-Europeans, African immigrants, and Native Africans in order to offer support, encouragement, accountability for brain, brainstorming purposes, and feedback from my listeners from around the globe. This show represents the new black vo voices of media. We welcome non-black sympathizers, all Christian denominations, moderate Muslims, and secular people who are interested in solving black issues once and for all in America. If you can't participate, don't fret. I upload the show on Mixcloud and on my YouTube channel, which is which is available 24-7. If you would like to be a guest speaker on my show, please send me your email address so that I can email you specific information about my virtual Christian socialist organization, which is GRCAM, the acronym for the Grassroots Community Activist Movement. I will also um, include information about my future Christian business, which is GRCAI, the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago. I would not go to the government for assistance. I am trusting God to perform a miracle on my behalf. Now tonight's um, presentation and the theme is, Where are my black Wall Street builders? For, 15, for over 15 years, I have been doing my best to connect with other like-minded individuals who are concerned about our inner city youth and the crisis in the black community. American society care more about saving animals than about saving our inner city youth. For example, Ellen DeGeneres has started a fund to help save gorillas in Africa. She has raised $4 million for her wildlife project. For more details, just go to my Facebook event page and click on the discussion area. 
in order to watch the video to support, you know, what I'm talking about. While Africa is on the verge of becoming recolonized, this time by, by China, um, for more details about that, um, just go to my Facebook event page and click on the um, click on that link, and then from there, click on the discussion area to watch uh, the video, which would explain uh, in more detail. If we as black people don't care about our own, how do we expect others to care about, you know, our children or black issues? If our grandparents had that same Willie Lynch mentality that most of our people have today, then there wouldn't be a civil rights movement. There wouldn't be no, no Dr. Martin Luther King. There wouldn't be no uh, Malcolm X. So, but this, this day and age, a lot of our uh, people are, are caught up in, I got mine, you get yours mentality. And that's the only reason why I remain stagnant, because I don't want just anybody on my management team. I want um, qualified people. Actually, I want 30 black middle class professionals within the United States that have read my story, meet the qualification I'm looking for, make yourself known to me. So that way we can get this organization up and running. African Americans have been protesting and marching for, for equality and fairness in the United States for 52 years and still to this day institutionalized racism and police, bruta and pol police brutality st still uh, is re reoccurring. In such a critical time as these, we can't afford to go backwards. I'm not here to entertain I am here to recruit, inform, and to promote my vision about solving black issues once and for all in America. It's time for us as black people to embrace new ideas to solve current social conditions in our community. I agree with ADOS, which is an acronym for American Descendants of Slaves, that we do deserve reparations. But truth be told, how can we get reparations when we can't even get equal uh, protection under the law? I'm just saying. A four-legged dog has more protection under the law than an unarmed black man or an unarmed black woman. And why am I constantly um, talking about um, help stop the genocide in American ghettos all the time? Because I have a passion for that. Because since 2001, over 4,000 people in the city of Chicago alone has been killed due to urban violence. Today, our black leaders have failed us. They are all about themselves because, well, like I say, that willing lynch mentality. And also because they're being funded by the same group who created all these social problems in the first place, and that is the financial elites. African Americans from the lower economic class are suffering great harm from senseless violence, high unemployment, mass incarceration, police brutality, drug abuse, high illiteracy, inadequate health care, and failing schools as a result of institutionalized racism. How do I know? Because I experienced that and that's where I used to live. The, finan the financial elites created the black ghettos, welfare, and flooded our communities with drugs and guns. In my book, I call it the uh, perfect genocide. They have, the, they have divided us based on our social class, uh, religion, and political affiliation, Democrat slash Republicans. During integration, or the Housing Act of 1968, our middle class black professionals relocated to white neighborhoods. Our role models were gone and the black family began breaking down, removing the black man from the home. The 
the government um, allowed food stamps, and with that came abortions, drugs, the prison pipeline, the rise of the prison pipeline. All of this was planned to keep us divided. The goal of my virtual Christian socialist organization is to connect with other like-minded brothers, sisters, and others and educate them about God's plan for our lives and Satan's plan to destroy us through institutionalized racism. The grassroots community activist movement is a virtual Christian socialist organization. For me, Christian socialism is an authentic form of Christianity. A Christian socialist is a form of socialism based on the teachings of Jesus. Many Christian socialists believe that capitalism is adulterous and rooted in greed, social inequality, and institutionalized racism, which most Christian denominations consider a moral sin. We will focus on what we stand for, which is love, compassion, social justice, and liberation theology. Jesus told us to focus on the least of these in, in society, according to Matthew chapter 25, verse 35 through 40. He also commanded us to be a witness to others, not just for us to read his word, but to activate social change in the world, according to Matthew chapter 28, verses six, 16 through 20. We will be committed to the healing ministry of Jesus by showing compassion to inner city youth and their families, which will promote dignity, dignity to the people and community we will serve. We will promote an authentic form of Christianity, and for me again, that is Christian socialism. We will emphasize the importance of moral, morals and character development for both Christians and non-Christians. We will also focus on meeting the needs of the community while strengthening the black family and focusing on solving black issues by promoting a black economic agenda. While doing street ministry on the west side of Chicago, I encountered brothers from the conscious community, Hebrew Israelites, Moors of America, and Nuwabians, as well as homeless youth and poor families on the streets. I develop an interest in young people and their struggle to grow into responsible, productive members of society. My focus was on helping street youth and break and from broken uh, families, improving the circumstances of those who are suffering from drug, drug addiction and urban violence. We believe that every child deserves a future. Every family deserves to stay together and every community deserves to thrive. We will give at-risk children the love, support, and education they need to succeed. When, when we invest in a child, the positive effect ripple through, ripples through the community making the black community better, healthier, safer, and stronger. Where are, where are my black Wall Street builders? As I have stated many times before, after 15 years of being rejected, humiliated, and ignored by established black organizations in the city of Chicago, I decided to write and publish my story, quote, the Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America, Second Edition, in hopes of attracting 30 black middle-class professionals within the United States to join my management team. I have my Articles of Incorporation and my Bylaws typed and available for my nonprofit cooperative. I also have my Articles of Organization typed and available for my for-profit service-based business. Yet, to add insult to injury, still to this day, I don't have anyone on my management team. And what a shame. Nehemiah was called by God to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. He did not build the city by himself. He used 
architects, bricklayers, and engineers. Likewise, in my business, I want black middle class professionals on my management team who have the following credentials. I'm looking for investors, um, business partners, Christian entrepreneurs, social entrepreneurs, and philanthropists. I am also looking for legitimate film producers, actors, stage managers, grant writers slash fundraisers, technical directors, marketers, accountants, business administrators, social workers, financial planners, lawyers, real estate brokers, and insurance agents. Once I have my management team in place, then we will start the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago, starting on the west side of Chicago. We will cover Austin, the Garfield Park, and North Mondale communities. And then eventually we will expand to the south side of Chicago. We aim to equip black entrepreneurs and create an infrastructure for local artists in order to rebuild the black community by applying the principles from my revised book, which will transform our inner cities into flourishing communities. We will offer a STEM program, which um, the acronym stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math for, you, for street youth to help bridge the gap between inner city youth and their peers from affluent neighborhoods. Gakai aimed to equip men and women to serve and lead with integrity, creativity, competency, and compassion in an urbanized environment. Gakai will operate under five separate functions within the business. We will offer, a, well, we will have a social service component, a spiritual component, which will be optional for secular people, a political component, an entrepreneur an entrepreneur component and an entertainment component. Under the nonprofit cooperative, Rakai will be governed by an advisory board. Rakai will be membership based and operate for the rural neutral benefit of our members. Also, any earnings we make are returned to our members in the form of lower prices through our quality programs and services. Our members come first and we will be committed to providing trust and understandable information. Under the for-profit serv service-based business, we will offer state-of-the-art recreational center that will, that will offer, um, provide uh, bowling, high ropes, adventure courses, captivating game rooms featuring the latest videos and amusement, stylish billboards, energetic dance rooms, and high quality restaurants. Various businesses on-site child care and an on-site music recording studio for our students making documentary films and stage plays. In addition, we will host family fun activities including combination deals, birthday parties, weddings, and corporate parties or events. The Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago focuses on strengthening the black family with an emphasis on single black mothers and single black fathers. We aim to eradicate urban violence through our programs and services. We also want to promote economic opportunities in the black community by being an advocate and a reliable source for our members. My vision for Africa to, re, to reconnect with my ancestral homeland, which is Africa. It's my hope to connect with African immigrants within the United States who will work with me and Sister Renee in rebuilding our urban communities within 10 cities in the Midwest. Before we expand to Africa, I need my international friends who live in Liberia, uh, Ivory Coast, Ghana, Angola, Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Uganda to encourage your government to allow us to, to have citizenship within three years. If you are serious about us doing business, 
on the African continent. We as black people must move from being tribal. Because I keep running across a lot of um, African immigrants here in the United States, where well, right here in the city of Chicago, that's not interested in working with me and um, in getting this org organization up and running. But yet they want me to, you know, uh, go to Africa, and it doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, hey, well, hey, you here in my country? You know what I'm saying? So help me uh, build up um, my business here. So that way I can have the credibility when I come to the motherland. So, you guys got to um, put pressure on people, your family members that's here. Encourage, um, please encourage your family and friends who reside in Canada, Europe, and in the United States to purchase my revised book and work with me and Sister Renee. This will help speed up the process for me to recruit brave and smart African immigrants in America to assist me in setting up chapters in Africa. We will go through the proper channels with the African governments to start our NGO, a non-government organization. We will offer private employment to our members based on our budget and sponsorship. We will provide infrastructure for clean running water, agricultural technology to feed the people, offer solar energy, to help our members with their electric, with their electric um, generators, and most, most of all, we want to help improve the African uh, economy as well as educate the people about the problems with capitalism and show them an alternative, which is Grecan. In time, we will expand to Brazil and the Caribbean islands. I don't ask for donations. Instead, I encourage everyone that's on my friends list and everyone that's in my social group who are interested in being a part of this new movement to please support me by purchasing my revised book and read my story for yourself. It's available as an ebook for $9.99. It's also available as a softcover book for $15 plus shipping and handling. Um, and you can get it on Amazon.com, and I will provide that the link to my uh, book in the uh, comment section um, of this podcast and slash video. My book is the foundation of my future Christian business, Grakai, the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago. Grakam is a global community of thinkers, builders. And builders, I need your help to move the cam from behind the computer into our urban communities that need our talents and skills. Again, the proceeds from my film and my revised book will go towards um, my Christian business. The Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago will be will be both. Um, one part of it will be a nonprofit cooperative, faith based multidisciplinary arts organization dedicated to developing and promoting the best of black culture. And we will also become uh, a, a for-profit business. Um, so that way we can do more things and we don't have to just uh, be begging for donations. We'll try to um, generate um, capital um, from that for-profit business so we can compete with others and then um, just give back through the uh, nonprofit. And the nonprofit is my gift to the community. Grakai will be membership based and everyone will be screened and must attend our mandatory orientation and sign the, the community pledge. No exceptions. No hardened criminals, no active gang members, no urban terrorists, no pedophiles, no half-steppers allowed in my organization. This is how I get down. This is my contribution back to my community, society, and throughout the African diaspora. Please share this podcast and video with your friends. I don't have another 27 years to waste. It's time for us to move this organization from behind a computer starting in Chicago. The phone lines will are now open.